As you can see, we have a lot to cover, but I really recommend taking a little bit at a time using the navigational features of this course to zero in on the parts that are really of interest to you at that time. So I guess it would be fair to ask, who's this guy and why should I trust that he has anything to say that's of value? Well, I've been doing this for a long, long time. I've been teaching musicians and audio people how to use this stuff uh, and do all this stuff for over 25 years. And I've been in environments where I've worked with the very best in the business. Nothing teaches like doing it. I've done a lot of live sound. I've worked out on the road with massive acts like uh, Michael Jackson, Phil Collins, uh, Whitney Houston, Diana Ross, and I've also run the sound at my local church for years. I've had the privilege of mixing thousands of events, and you know, you kind of get to learn what works and what doesn't. My hope is that I can break it all down, break everything down, and you know, basically everything I've learned, looking over the shoulders of incredible audio engineers that I've worked with. Uh, to be honest, I'd have to be an absolute idiot to have been working in this business for so long with some of the biggest names in the business and not learn a thing or two, right? Do you trust me? Okay, my hope is that by the end of this course, you'll know them too, and you'll be an excellent audio engineer. That's absolutely the goal. So let's get started. So let's break down the basics of a sound system, and this is the smallest sound system I could uh, think of to demonstrate this. And believe it or not, any sound system or PA system is basically the same as this guy here. Now, by the way, PA system is just an old school way of, uh, it's a short, as an acronym for public address system. I'll say PA or sound system from now on. And it's basically this. We have sound source. In this case, I have two. I have a vocal mic and a guitar coming out of this cable here. Comes into this little mixer. This mixer mixes them together, changes their tone and whatnot. Sends it out to a power amp inside here and then out to a speaker here. The purpose is to take these two sound sources here, mix them together, tweak their sound a little bit, then amplify it and send it out on its way so the audience can hear that. Believe it or not, the biggest PA you can think of is basically doing the same thing. A PA system is taking all the inputs from stage, running them into a mixer that has EQ and effects, then running that through an amp rack, then into a pile of speakers. That's the basic structure of a PA system. And there are a few other things like monitor sends and crossovers and things, but this is pretty much it in a nutshell. Sound sources going into a mixer, and maybe some effects, and out to the amp and speaker combination. So the next time you go to a big concert, remember that for all those dozens of trucks of equipment that put together that massive sound system, this is really all that's going on. Sound sources going into a mixer, and those sources being mixed, EQ'd, and affected, then sent out to the amp, and then speakers. Note the flow of signal here, from our source into the mixer, then amp and speakers. I really want to get that into your consciousness, that that is the flow, because then troubleshooting will just make a lot of sense. Like, imagine this, for example. If I brought this up and I could, I could hear my guitar, but I couldn't hear my vocal mic, then I could make the assumption that from the amp and the speakers on out in the mixer, everything from the mixer, amp, and speakers is fine because I can hear my guitar here. But if I can't hear them, then there must be something wrong between here and here, right? So maybe it's a bad mic cable or I say a bad microphone. Oh, actually, there's a switch on the top here. If I turn that on, there you go. So I just wanted to get you uh, kind of used to this simplified idea of signal flow because it will make a lot more sense and really help with your troubleshooting later on.